Hi Capricorn, Narayah here. Gonna do a reading for you guys. Gonna do a reading for you. This is gonna be quick. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South Node. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Ooh, that was way too much. And if you're returning, welcome back. I'm really having some curl issues. All right, guys. Let's see what spirit has for you. Spirit, any messages, guidance, or warnings for the sign of Capricorn, please and thank you. Messages and guidance for Cappies. Messages and guidance for Cappies. Let's see what Spirit has. I feel like this is going to be rather quick. Okay. options I have options here um, because there's a king of wands a king of cups and a queen of swords energy this is a go-getter this is an entrepreneur this is somebody that makes things happen this is a person that takes charge this is a person that is compassionate and caring and supportive. This is a person that can talk about their feelings. This is a person that is mature emotionally and stable. This is a person that is honest, has direct communication and very clear and strong boundaries. This is a person able to make a head over heart decision. Um, this is a person that is able to speak when they're made uncomfortable about something. Also with this card, when I see it, it makes me think there's plenty, there's plenty of fish in the sea. I also have the nine of swords. This is, this is somebody having sleepless and restless nights, um, anxiety, worry, depression, I feel like after a period of that, there are options for you guys. And you could have these options and not even realize these options are coming your way because you're still stuck in this energy. You're supposed to be in the Empress energy, nurturing yourself and taking care of the things that you need to take care of. Turning things into gold, making things happen, making dreams come true for yourself, turning thoughts into plans, into action. I feel like some of you are very full of emotion and not grounded the way that you need to be. And it's kind of like you need to get in this energy, whether you're male or female. You know if you're marriage material. You know if you're if you're deserving of being in a relationship with somebody. You know if you know how to treat your partner the way they need to be treated when you're in a relationship. You know that you're deserving of an equal give and take. Somebody that's going to give to you. Um, somebody that you don't mind giving to that's not going to make you feel depleted. Somebody that's not going to allow you to overgive. They're going to be sure that you're taking care of yourself instead of what a lot of you have gotten used to in the past is dealing with somebody that always wanted to make sure that their needs were taken care of. Forget how Capricorn feels. Nobody cares if you don't feel well. What about me is what some of the past people have stated. And vice versa, Crosswatcher. You can reverse the roles if needed. 
Um, but this is about an equal give and take. This is somebody giving to you as much as you're giving to them. Somebody that's like, yes, I want my cup to be full, but I want your cup to be full too, Capricorn. Somebody that you can have that Ten of Pentacles with. Create that legacy. Have that family. Have future success. Long-term success. Long-term wealth and prosperity and abundance. Some of you are in this energy because you're dwelling on the past and what somebody did to you instead of letting it go. So even though this person is not in your life, this person is holding you hostage and stopping you from moving forward. And this is for some of you. This isn't for everyone. I feel like this is probably a really small percentage. But you still feel like you missed out on something. Only thing you missed out on is yourself. You missed out on time. You're missing out on yourself right now. You're missing out on time that you could be using to make life better for yourself. Change your attitude. Um, find happiness within yourself, by yourself. Some of you are still in this energy. In the Eight of Swords in a mental prison. Not even realizing. There's options. I started the whole reading with options, guys. I started the whole reading with the King of Cups, the King of Wands, and the Queen of Swords energy. You have options. You have choices. But just know that everybody that presents themselves to you and that is interested is not always going to be a good choice. Some of them are distractions and some of them are tests. And it doesn't matter if you're tired of tests, that will not stop them from coming. We go to school and we learn the lesson and then we take the test. In life, it's not like that. You take the test to see if you actually learn the lesson. This is about your stability. The king of, excuse me, the king of, the emperor. This is about your stability. This is having self-control, taking control of your life. Knowing what is important to you, not allowing anybody to deter you from what is important for you and your priorities. Knowing to put yourself first because you are worthy and deserving of love and you deserve to be your number one priority. Three more cards. Spirit, three more cards. I'm looking at my sign that says love. Mm. Two more, one more card. <gasps> Putting this right here. Right there. So what did I pull out? The Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. Some of you are feeling like the Wounded Warrior right now. Get out of this energy. Don't be stuck here. It's not helping you. Yes, you've been through a lot, but so have a lot of other people. It is your, it's, it's a choice. Mm. Don't sit there feeling sorry for yourself. Don't sit there feeling sorry for yourself. And don't bond with people over the tragedies that you've gone through. Do not bond with, it's my recommendation, you do what you want to do, but try not to bond with people over the negative things that happened in your life. Bond with them over the positive. Trauma bonds happen in more than one way. Trauma bonds can happen between a person that is the abused and the abuser. And trauma bonds can happen between people who have both been victimized, but they're staying in that energy by connecting with each other over their trauma or the tragedy. So it's like, yes, you're the wounded warrior, but you don't have to stay the wounded warrior. This is about getting your confidence, confidence back, getting in that queen of swords. And did I say queen of swords? Sorry, that was this card. Getting in that Queen of Wands energy where you're 
feeling more like yourself. This is my Stella and Stan got their groove back card. Not allowing a past situation to change you and stop you from progressing. This is you getting comfortable with who you are while you're by yourself. You don't need somebody to be who you are. You may want somebody to be in your life, but you don't need somebody to be in your life. This person is comfortable by herself. This is a social butterfly. Whether you're male or female, this is you being a social butterfly, getting out there. People are noticing these positive changes. When you start making them, if you're not making them already, you will be recognized. You'll make positive changes, feel more confident. These are two confidence cards. These are two cards where all eyes are on you. People notice. People see your happiness. You can say you're happy and people can tell if you are. You, But you seriously, truly being happy? Can attract somebody into your life. Whether you want it or not. But you connecting with somebody, it doesn't have to be romantic. It can be a friendship. And when I pull the lover's card or the two of cups, that can be a friendship. And then I have the six of cups. You're going to attract somebody into your life that feels familiar. Or this person may be very loyal. Or both. Maybe it's a past life connection. And sometimes with past life connections, it doesn't mean that we are destined to be with that person. There's been people I've met that were not even romantic interests for me that I felt like I knew. But the Ten of Cups is you being happy with yourself and having your wish fulfillment and meeting somebody else that's happy with themselves and they're focused on their wish fulfillment. And then the next card, oh my God, I can't even, I can't, I cannot, look. The Two of Cups and the wish fulfillment. If this ain't confirmation, I don't know what the hell is. <laughs> yeah. Two of cups, an equal give and take, a partnership. This is a relationship or a friendship. Somebody you feel really close to, have a tight bond with. This is the nine of cups. This is your wish fulfillment. This is you having everything that you want positive outlook in life, etc. This is the king of swords. This is standing in your truth, being honest, being wise, head over heart decision. It goes with the queen of swords here. Oh, shits. Oh, shits and giggles. Damn it. Memento. They go together. And then we have the Ace of Cups. This is a new this is a new beginning, a romantic relationship, a new friendship, an emotional start to something that brings you joy. And then they have the Hangman. This is taking a moment to pause and see things from a new perspective. I'm done with your reading. I don't know what else to say. If you want this to be a love reading for you, it's a love reading. If you don't want it to be a love reading for you, then you're probably going to make some friendship connections. Um, but you're not going to meet the right people, whether it's love or friends. If you're stuck in this victim mentality, wounded warrior, like some people wear their pain like a badge of honor and get attention based off of it. Don't be that person. Do not be that person. And if you think about it, We've all been or have known someone who's stuck on the past and the pain and this and that. And they identify with what they went through instead of just realizing it's just something they went through. It's not who they are. So you're not the pain that you've gone through. You're not the abuse that you've gone through. You're not the failures that you've had in relationships or within yourself 
You're just somebody that experienced those things. But you're somebody that deserves to be happy, deserves somebody to treat you with honor and respect and loyalty, and somebody that deserves to be cherished and loved. But you have to give yourself that first. And you have to decide that you don't want to be in victim mode wearing it like a badge of honor because it's not. It's holding you back. But I'm here to tell you that you're worthy and deserving of love and compassion and patience and kindness, but you have to give it to yourself first. So that is what I have for you, Capricorn. I love you guys, and I thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And until next time, bye.